water. We all need it. But do we really understand the precarity of the global water cycle on which all life depends? The threats the water crisis pose on our health, safety, food, and living environment? Only when we radically change the way we understand, value, and manage water can we work towards a sustainable and equitable world. Because water is not only at the core of some of our biggest challenges, it's also the catalyst for the solutions towards healthy societies, resilient economies, and a vital planet. In my country, our groundwater and rivers are drying up due to climate change. And this is affecting our local economy, especially in rural areas. That is why we are working on sustainable management of micro watershed to enable our communities to develop resilient economic activities. How can water be a driver for resilient economics in this context of drought and water scarcity? Nowadays, millions of people lack access to safe sanitation and hygiene. Poor sanitation affects the health of the people and pollutes the water resources worldwide. How can we ensure safe sanitation for all? Behind me, you see a lake that didn't exist 10 years ago. This is an outcome of glacial lake outboard floods which often result in catastrophic flooding downstream with major infrastructure and socioeconomic impacts. How can we increase countries' understanding of risks and respond to early warning before disaster strike? In my home country, about 65% of women and girls cannot manage their periods in a safe way. This puts their health very much at risk. How can we empower women? My country suffers from arsenic pollution in its groundwater. The problem is multifaceted as the needs of the population compete with the needs of economy and industry. How can we find a fair balance between economy, the population and environment? In the Netherlands, 26% of the area is currently already below sea level. A large part of the Netherlands is used for agriculture. Therefore, rising sea levels is a direct threat to food security, just like in other countries. How can we prevent this imminent threat? Small island developing states like those here in the Caribbean are amongst those most seriously impacted by the effects of climate change. Because of this, all stakeholders, especially local governments and the youth, need to be part of the discussion. We have much to learn from you, and you have much to learn from us. How can we better incorporate youth and local governments of small island developing nations into global decision-making processes? Where I come from is a vulnerable country to bear the consequences of climate change. Lake Sevan is one of the world's largest high-altitude freshwater lakes. But pollution and persistent droughts threaten the lake. My lake is ill. How to stop this? The most pressing water issue in my community is plastic waste pollution in sea and river. The solution includes young people. We are innovator, entrepreneur. How can we use the skill of young people to accelerate the water action agenda? As the driver for the 2030 agenda, water should be at the heart of decisions on climate, health, energy, biodiversity, and food security. It's up to us. We have to act now and work together towards a more sustainable future and equitable world.